Magnetic electrons produce electromagnetic waves. These waves are a combination of electric and magnetic fields. A changing magnetic field produces an electric field, and a changing electric field produces a magnetic field. This is the Gavivian test, grade 10 division. The whole region of the radio waves is divided into small regions or wave bands, from extremely low frequency to extremely high frequency. We were able to listen news in our home radio because of amplitude modulation, and we were able to enjoy relaxing music because of frequency modulation. AM and FM are both types of radio waves. The next type of beam waves is microwaves. Microwaves have smaller wavelengths than radio waves. They are used in satellite communications, radar, television transmissions, and cooking. Microwave signals are transmitted by an antenna to a satellite, which amplifies and retransmits the signal to an antenna in other parts of the world. This is how we communicate with the rest of the world. The next type of beam waves is infrared, also known as heat. Infrared radiation lies beyond the red end of the visible light. The amount and wavelength of radiation depends on the temperature. Below 500 degrees Celsius, an object emits only infrared radiation. Above 500 degrees Celsius, an object glows and emits both infrared and visible light. Next type of E waves is visible spectrum, also known as white light. When white light passes through a prism, it is separated into its constituent colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These colors do not distinctly separate but they continuously change from red to violet. Red colors has the longest wavelength from among these colors and violet has the shortest. Next type of EM waves is the ultraviolet waves. The sun is our main source of ultraviolet radiation, but there are also artificial sources of UV light. Ultraviolet radiation in UV lamps are used by banks to check the signature on a passbook. The signature is marked on the passbook with fluorescent ink. It becomes visible when viewed under an ultraviolet lamp. These lamps are also used to identify fake bank loads. The next type of beam waves is X-rays. X-rays come just after the ultraviolet rays. They are shorter wavelength but carries higher energy than the UV. X-rays are produced using an x tube. They are emitted when fast-moving electrons hit a metal target. The next type of beam waves is gamma rays. Gamma rays lie at the other end of the electromagnetic spectrum. They are shortest in wavelength and highest in frequency. They carry the highest amount of energy. Thus, they are more dangerous. Gamma rays are very strong that they can kill living cells. Gamma rays are used to treat cancer through the process called radiotherapy. They are also used for sterilization of drinking water. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Surfaps TV and don't forget to hit the notification bell para inform kayo sa lahat ng video na ilalabas namin dito. Again, I am Vivian B. Villantes, Grade 10, The Legend.